Hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. I'm Kirukan and thank you for joining me. <coughs> and I am recording this at like the last moment. Okay, wow, that's a little bit loud. Ah, I didn't mean to hit that button. I'm a failure. So much of a failure. My leg is itchy. Okay, so I'm going to try finding the submarine down here. I think. I think that's what I'm looking for. The one I shot down that had the huge materia on it, I mean. Hey, buddy. Just, uh, stay on your side of the area, okay? Cool. Um... I don't have any uh, snarky remarks here. Oh, there it is. There's our huge materia. Fantastic. Didn't even take two minutes to get to it. So this is the leader sub. Damn, makes me sick just thinking about it. Huge materia recovered. No damage appears to have been sustained. That's good to hear. Okay, now we can leave. Um, I don't really have any commentary to speak of. Uh, at the time of this recording, I've already finished the, the recording for Batman. I think I mentioned that at the end of my Shantae playthrough, which obviously ended. Which none of you watched! No, it's cool if you don't want to watch it. My videos aren't very interesting. Seems like somebody's been loving my reviews lately, especially that Sonic Forces one. It, it had to be the, uh... Just the timing of it, since I did that not long after the game came out, like two days later. Really glad with how that review turned out, despite the fact that I was ill when I did it. Right, where am I going from here? Rocket Town! Right! Okay, this might be a long one, then. Also, where the hell is Rocket Town? Um... I think I'm getting close to it. There's Gongaga. Um, there's Nibelheim, so just over these mountains. <coughs> Todd, go into the town! That was weird. I don't remember. Does this guy give another weapon? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. I like this song. Wait, how's my... Sit in, you feel are sad. Um... Yeah, I don't have any, uh... I, I don't <laughs> remember what, uh... Cure sadness. Doesn't matter. Those terrorists are here! I guess he's talking about us. Seems a little bit quiet. Wow! Holy shit! Um, I forgot what I was talking about before. Don't let them get any further! Everyone, attack! Yeah, can get some all of your butts? <coughs> Wait. Oh, okay, there it was. <laughs> it's like, why is it saying, uh, Sid doesn't have sadness? I mean, look at the guy. That is not a guy who's all sunshine and rainbows.
My, my commentary is worse than usual. Ah, uh, you're not going anywhere! Ah, uh, nowhere! Yeah, uh... Technically, I still have another day to record this, but I want to get it out of the way because... At the time of this recording, tomorrow I'm hanging out with Shads. So we'll have some fun there. <coughs> also, w w was it this playthrough? I know there was a playthrough that I'm uh, doing where I mentioned that I might not continue doing LP videos. And, uh... You know, I'm still undecided on that. On one hand, I do enjoy making a lot of these videos. Oh, nice. I got a new limit. God damn it, what the hell do they think they're gonna do to my rocket? I'm out of here, Cloud. I'm gonna kick those assholes Shinra right out of my rocket. That was a terrible line rating. I apologize. Um... Right, I was gonna check his limit. Yay! Did I? Okay, yeah, I did switch Yuffies. Um, but yeah, no, I, I'm I'm undecided on what I want to do there. At the very least, if there's a currently running LP that I do on my own, I'm gonna finish it. I'll probably finish the ones with chats, too. You again. We will eliminate everyone who gets in Shinra's way. Also, sorry, in case you didn't realize it at this point, I've got a cough drop in my mouth. Ow! That kind of, sort of, maybe hurt a little. Okay, stop spamming. Yuffie, really? Okay, fine, take your nap. Um, what was I saying? Nothing important, I know. But, right, now I remember. Uh,. As it stands, I do intend on finishing whatever's still going on. Uh, well, like I said, I haven't fully just... Did that bitch just heal himself? Oh, I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh, I kicked his ass! That was faster than I thought it'd be. Um... But like I said, I I'm gonna keep it going at least for the time being. They got us. I'm just gonna... Yeah. Hope I didn't step on your face too much there. Yo! Why are you here? Root of the Turks should have been here! Too bad. Those guys are over there. Oh man. The Turks being done in like that. But I won't let you throw. Okay, I'll go through you then. But yeah, uh... It is... Like I said, it's not an immediate thing that's happening. It's just... I'm not fully decided yet. Um... It, it, it could happen. It might not happen. Are you dead? Nope, you're alive. So, uh, you know... If you enjoy watching my videos, then I'm glad. Hey, what the hell are you guys doing? Hey, just when I, I thought something was going on, you come back. Listen to me, Captain. We're gonna launch this rocket. Huh? What are you talking about? We're gonna load a materia bomb in this and blow up Meteor. Our rocket's gonna save the planet. Ugh, man, this is so cool. Wait a minute. Shut up. Just shut the hell up. How's the rocket? It's pretty much okay. But... We plan to run it into Meteor on autopilot, but the most important device is broken. Broken? How's the repair going? Shara's doing it. Oh, great. What a bunch of wizards you guys are. She's gonna take a hundred years. 
I'll take over, so don't worry about the autopilot. Hey, go ahead. Go tell everyone. All right, Captain. Good luck. Hey, Sid, what are you doing? Uh, there are generations of knowledge and wisdom inside the Materia. We're going to borrow their powers and save the planet from Sephiroth. There's no way we can lose the huge Materia. You understand that, right? Yeah, I understand. I, just, I understand that Materia is precious. And I also understand what you're thinking. But listen, I don't give a rat's ass whether it's science or magical power. No, I guess if I had to choose, I'd rather put my money on the power of science. Humans who are oh, humans who used to only roam around on the ground are able to fly now. And finally, we're about to go into outer space. Science is a power created and developed by humans, and science just might be what saves this planet. I was able to earn my living thanks to science, so to me, there's nothing greater. Now quit your worrying about what Shinra's gonna do. Want to regret not having done something later. But Sid, shut the hell up! I don't want to hear it! Alright, time to get to work. Anyone who ain't involved, get the hell out of here. What the hell? What the hell happened? Hey, hey! Palmar, what the hell did you do? They said they finished repairing the autopilot, so I launched it! God damn, Shara! What'd you pick today to get fast? Damn, won't even budge. It's completely locked up. Hey, hey, hey. Almost lift off. What the? No countdown. Just don't seem the same without it. Hey, 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 hey. Blast off. So, like I was saying, uh, if you watch my videos and you enjoy them, I really do appreciate it. Doesn't matter which videos. Could be the playthroughs, just the random stupid shit I throw up, or the uh, reviews. Doesn't matter, but I want you guys to know I do really appreciate it. And I hope that whatever I choose to do with the channel, you guys will still hopefully follow it. And for the record, if I do stop doing LPs, I may I may start doing at least occasional streams or something. It's, uh... It's hard to decide what to do, you know? That also depends on time, because sometimes I have more time than other times. Time, 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 time. I finally made it. Outer space. Let's see, how's the course set? Yep, it's headed for a collision with Meteor. Hey, old man, do something! That damn Palmer went out of his way to lock the autopilot device. We might not be able to change the course. This is the end? Huh? What the hell are you saying? You're still young and you give up that easily. I'm not gonna crash into Meteor. Just watch. Keep an escape pod on the rocket for emergencies like this. I deciphered the lock code on the escape pod. We'll bail right before we crash into a meteor. Hmm? What are we gonna do with the huge materia? If you don't want it, maybe you could give it to me. If you want the materia, do whatever you want. The materia should be there after you climb that ladder. You sure? I don't know. I know what I said a minute ago. But maybe all that I really wanted was just to go into outer space. So why don't you all do whatever you think is right? Okay, uh... I might actually screw up and not get this materia. I think you can get it later, but... I finally found the huge materia. I'm trying to remember the password here. It's structured so that the lock can be opened if we enter the passcode from this control panel. Okay. Hey, Cloud, you know how to use it, right? 
Every time it says enter passcode, push one of those uh, buttons. If you punch in the right code, it'll unlock and you'll get the huge materia. So what order am I supposed to put the passcode in? I don't know. Just try and punch in the code randomly. Oh, I remembered it. Awesome. Whoa, pretty good. You got the passcode in a single try. You must have known the passcode. Not it's impossible. Hot damn, I'm good. Oh, I'm glad I remembered that. Circle square XX, by the way. Oh man, that, that made me feel good about myself. Okay, so we just got this door, right? I have to admit, if I got the password wrong, I was probably going to look it up. At least after trying a few passwords. Didn't need to, though. I got it on my first try. Really proud of myself. Guess I gotta uh, remember some shit once in a while, right? Oh, that made me feel good, though. <laughs> Damn, my leg's stuck in the debris. Sir, I can't budge it by myself. Don't worry about me. Hurry up and go. If you don't hurry, the rocket's gonna crash into meteor. I can't go on without my friends. Nerd! You jackass! No time to worry about other people. I'm gonna do whatever I can. You're stupid. You're really goddamn stupid. Tank number eight blew up, so tank number eight really was malfunctioning. Shara, you were right. But this is the end for me. Don't say that, Sid. Huh? Shara! I tagged along. I'm coming to help you. You stupid bitch. Sorry. The escape pod is this way. Please hurry. Oh, I guess I gotta do that manually. It's like the game expects me to play it or something. Hurry, I'm gonna detach the escape pod. Hey, Shara, does this pod really fly? It'll be okay. I've been checking it till now. Now I'm relieved. Thanks. Man, I can't believe I remembered the password. I mean, I have played through this game a, a lot of times, but there were times where I, I forgot the password before. I think the strategy guide I had when I was a kid had the wrong password, too, because I was playing the Japanese version. So this is outer space. Man, it's the real thing. I'm really here in outer space. So long, Shinran number 26. Also, this is a really great part of the game. Mostly thanks to Sid. That's a lot of brightness. That won't trigger somebody's seizures, will it? Do I need to put a seizure warning on this? Probably not. I think it's you. Well, that that kind of flashes, but I don't think that's the kind that'll generally set somebody off. I hope not. Anyway, maybe I should put one just in case. I don't know. I don't, I'll admit I don't know how seizures work. <coughs> uh, 
Um, I felt like I was going to say something there, but then I forgot. Yep. I'm trying to think of when the uh, diamond weapon event occurs. Because supposedly if you save uh, when diamond weapon attacks in a little bit uh, and then quit, it'll um, not spawn and you can't continue. Rufus and the other's plan was a failure. What a bust, but I kind of hoped it'd work. We've been bothering them as much as we can. But there ain't no other way. Wonder if we've been wrong all this time. Makes you worry, doesn't it? Don't worry. Think. Hey, the girl's right. Start worrying and there's no stopping it. Things just start falling apart and getting worse and worse. You're pretty damn optimistic. You up to something? Yeah, I've been thinking about this and that. All the time we've been up here looking at the planet. I've been thinking when we were floating in the ocean in that escape pod. I've been thinking, too, about the universe, planet, ocean, how wide and big. No matter where I go and what I do, it won't change a thing. Maybe you're right. But I came up with something different. I always thought this planet was so huge. But looking at it from space, I realize it's so small. We are just floating in the dark. Kinda makes you feel powerless. On top of that, it's got Sephiroth festering inside it like it's sickness. That's why I say this planet's still a kid. A little kid sick and trembling in the middle of this huge universe. Someone's gotta protect it. You follow me? That someone is us. Sid? That's beautiful. Yo, Sid, you even got to me. Do what now? How are we going to protect the planet from Meteor? I'm still thinking about that. <laughs> I love everyone's reaction. Huh? Did you hear something? The planet's scream? Or meteor? Is it this planet? Hey, how do we know that this is really the planet's scream? Did you forget? Bugenhagen told us. Bugenhagen. Let's go see Grandfather to Cosmo Canyon. I'm sure he'll be able to tell us something that will be helpful. Or we could just go over here and save. Wait, can I save on that airship? I don't remember. You know, we got a few moments left. Can we get the funny Yuffie scene that I skipped before? Huh? How would you even know? You don't know how tough it is getting sick on boats and rides. So please just leave me alone. I really do understand, Yuffie. When I get sick on a flight, it's a real killer. When I was in Soldier, I completely forgot about my motion sickness. Oh. Isn't there any way to prevent this? Well, according to my research, first off, if you're nervous a lot, you won't get sick. But you can't always be nervous. With this much space, your best bet is to move around while you're riding. Well, it might also be a good idea to stretch sometimes, too. But in Soldier, we spent a lot of time in trucks. That sucked. There's no one thing you mustn't do when riding, and that is... READ! Once you get sick, there's nothing anyone can do. I know it's tough. So, you're a little better off than me, but I don't feel well. Yay, we got the sick Yuffie scene.
Okay, first, let's heal. If I hadn't already. I mean, I may have healed after that event, but whatever. And I can indeed save here, so... Let's do that. And I'd say with that, I'm gonna end the episode here. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back for the next one.